Welcome back to some more Project Zomboid on day 12 of our 28 Days Later Challenge with Shiny B. Now, in the previous episode, we managed to locate a generator and we managed to bring it, well, sort of halfway back towards our base location. But we was carrying quite a lot of produce on our back. We got all of these tomatoes and carrots. I've put them all in the freezer. But I'm gonna go and grab this generator this morning so we can get that all hooked up in time for when the power goes off, which will be going off any day now. So let's get a cigarette. I'm out of lighters and I've only got a couple of packs of matches. We've got plenty of cigarettes. We haven't been coming across much in the way of lighters and stuff, but let's just have a smoke before we go out and get that generator. So today, I want to spend some time around the base, kind of fortify our defenses a little bit. If we've got a generator, which I'm going to place out the back here, I'm going to need to wall it off so it's a little bit more protected. Looks like we're out of water in that sink as well. Water's something else we're going to have to think about. Now, I do have a few large cooking pans which we can catch some rainwater in. But we need to get our carpentry level up a little bit more so we can craft a rain collector. And crafting is what I want to concentrate on today. So let's head back out into the forest and go and grab that generator, bring that back to base. Okay, just a zombie here. I might have dragged a couple in the woods. I'd say Shiny was pretty exhausted yesterday carrying all of that stuff, so I didn't want to risk bringing that generator any closer because even after dropping in it we would have been really hard pushed to be able to outrun any of the zombies. So carry on. Okay, got another zombie here. Take care of you. It looks like another two zombies. Two we can kind of handle. A couple of zombies not really a problem in this game but you can soon get overrun. And that's where the problem comes in, especially if you get a wandering horde. The numbers can quite easily overwhelm you. So I left the generator somewhere out in the middle of this field here. There it is. And it was a safer place to leave the generator. Shouldn't have too many zombies gathering around it. They tend to be attracted to more places of interest than just wandering around in woods and open fields. But... I didn't want to risk carrying it any further back at this point when I dropped this off. Shiny was pretty exhausted. Okay, let's just grab this. As you can see, we're overweight with it already. Okay, we managed to make it back to base without any problems. I'll just drop this generator down here. And it seems like we have an alarm going off, so... Just kind of sort that out. Small things like this can attract a passing zombie. So it's one of these watches here that's got an alarm set. There we go, it's that one there. Didn't end up switching it off. I'll probably end up dismantling all of them watches today as well. We'll get some electronic experience. Now we can connect the generator up to the house because we did find the magazine that allows us to learn that skill. So that is all ready to go. I've got some fuel in the back of this truck here. Yeah, we got a few cans of gas here, so um, as we'll grab it all. And I can just place it down next to the generator. We'll put any empty gas cans back in the boot. Now, I'm kind of without a vehicle, even though we do have this bus. We left our van near the pet petrol station, so I'm going to want to get that back. This bus would be ideal for transporting us to another city if we went beyond the 28-day challenge. There we go. Just fill the generator up, so that is all ready to rock and roll. So, as far as surviving goes we ain't doing too bad at all we're going to be ready for when that power goes out and used up that whole can i just put this one down on the floor next to it so today i want to 
fortify the base a little bit. As soon as we switch that generator on, it is going to make some noise. So I need to kind of barricade that section off a little bit. Shove this empty fuel can in the back here so I don't forget where that is. How are our plants and veggies doing? Let's check on that. It was raining a couple of days ago. They should be okay. Yep, they're well watered. Different vegetables need different amounts of water. I think potatoes take up the most water. But everything seems good so far. And place them buckets and then watering cans outside as well. So you can use all of that stuff. Okay. Right. Let's get inside. So... Speaking of watches, well, I did read that electronics magazine, so we can go about dismantling all of this stuff. So, I'll just show you skills here. We read the electronics volume one, so we've got the times three XP boost. And as you can see, it's going to get us perhaps halfway. Electronics can be a little bit of a pain to level up. Let's dismantle. Got a couple of cameras here as well. That's why I end up collecting all of the digital watches that we come across because by the time you've read that magazine, it's worthwhile just to give yourself a bit of a boost. I find that electronics is one of the more difficult things to level up. But all of that kind of got us, well, almost halfway. I know it's not great. Now we did start off with the burglar trait on shiny, so can already hotwire cars. I'm just going to eat one of these tomatoes that we robbed yesterday. In terms of weight, we're doing all right. We're a plus 80, so that's good. One of the other things I want to do today as well is actually patch up some of our clothing and add some padding. So, but first, before we do that, Let's fortify our position. We're going to go and chop down some trees. Start adding to our base location. Now, you can always build a base from scratch. You don't have to take over a building. But in this playthrough, the farm's been doing all right for us. Let's chop down a few trees here. Okay, that ought to do it. So I'm just going to pick up all of these logs, just carry them a bit closer, and then we can saw them all up into a pile. And I'm going to build something just around this generator out the back here. And let's just drop them down here for now. Yeah, that'd be fine. Okay, so that's all of them. And we want to saw them all into planks. So, do I have a saw? I do. Generally, carry a saw. Let's get all of that done. Might take us a bit of time to do all of this stuff. Okay, so that's the last of the logs. We've got plenty of planks to get us started. Okay, so we've got plenty of planks to get us started there, but it is getting a little bit late. Shiny is pretty exhausted, so... I think we might just spend the rest of the evening reading something. Now, I guess we could do Mechanics Volume 1 and start working on that. I think we've pretty much done everything else. We'll read this before we go to bed. That way, when we do some mechanics, we'll take advantage of the XP boost. Well, the time has flown by. We've just gone 9 o'clock, but I'm going to get an early night. Shiny is pretty exhausted here. And we'll get some sleep. On day 13, we can start constructing some more defences. Okay, so up nice and early. I think the TV has now finished. Even though we've still got power, not benefiting from any of the TV shows anymore. Let's get straight on with 
building some sort of defenses. So I've grabbed plenty of boxes of nails. We've got lots of that. So we'll just grab a box, open that. Um, open one box. Then we've got plenty of nails. Now, first off, we need to construct some wall frames. And I should be able to do that from here. Yep, we can. Oh, just out of reach. I think I might have to pick them up. Okay, just grab a bunch of these planks first. Okay, now we can start putting some fence frames up. So there's quite a few layers to all of this defense here. Probably want to have a couple of exits going out. So I think just here I'm going to stick a door frame in. And I'll put one on the other side so if we end up attracting any attention we've got a couple of exits on this side. And say we go out four. Should we go out one more to make it even or... Hmm. I think we'll just turn it round and come down in this direction. That should give us plenty of room for what we need out here. Okay, let's manage to do it. We need some more logs chopping. Let's get some more trees cut down. Chinese in a little bit of pain, but this all adds to gaining strength. So we'll chop a few more logs up. Okay, we'll just put this last wooden frame in. There we go. So, doing all of this stuff is adding to our carpentry level. We want to begin with some basic walls. We'll just have to build them up. And so we've got like wooden wall volume one. I think that was a window, that one. We just want, yeah, there we go. We might have to improve our carpentry to get better walls up. But as a start, it will hold off any zombies just for a little bit. Okay, so we're fully walled off around the back there, but I do need to get a couple of doors put up. And to do that, I'm going to need a couple of hinges and a door knob. So let's try dismantling a few of these unnecessary doors, see if we can get some parts back that we need. Yeah, nothing that time. Now obviously, the better you are at carpentry, the more chance you have of getting things back that you will need. But there is a few doors in this house that we can get rid of that we don't actually need. Chop this one down. Okay, we managed to get a doorknob and a couple of planks back from that one. Still need those hinges though. Let's knock this one down as well. And we got a hinge and a doorknob from that one. But these doors, well, it would be a bad idea to lock ourselves in that area anyway, so we don't need them. Let's try upstairs. Okay, a couple of hinges back, so I'm just short of one hinge for the other door outside, but we can get one door put up on our little boundary outside so we'll go and do that okay so carpentry door wooden door there we go so it's not much but it's a start and I say that generator will make some noise so it's likely to attract some attention at some point put them planks back down Okay, dismantling these beds. So dismantling objects also improves carpentry, so I don't really need anything in this back room here. I'll get rid of these drawers as well. We can make our own storage if we need. And we just got a bit of scrap wood back for that. I will clean it up. also take that bed apart. Beds tend to give you quite a bit of XP back. Okay, there we go. So another hinge, another door. So we've got what we need to 
be able to construct that other door on the outside. Let's go and get that done. There we go. So, two doors. So we got two ways out if we need to come out the back. I will just check on our veggies, see how they're doing. And, yep. Radishes look fine. Tomatoes are all good. Yeah, I think they're all good. Like I say, we've got some water if they do need to be watered. Water is going to be a problem. Okay, so I'm just getting some more ripped clothing off the rest of these zombies. Now, leather strips is really what we want to grab. Leather strips will give us the best armor back. And I think this one's got a leather jacket on, so I may as well rip all of this stuff up. And I have been gathering plenty of clothes off of the zombies that we've been killing around the base. So we should have enough to be able to improve our armor rating. And uh, I'll just grab this last one down here as well. Do some tailoring. Now, I'm just going to wash these dirty leather strips because we can't sew dirty strips onto our clothing. They need to be cleaned. And I guess we can do some denim strips as well. Hopefully, we've got enough leather strips to kind of be able to do most of our armor and most of the stuff we're wearing. Looks like we kind of used up all of the water for cleaning there. Okay, not to worry. Let's go and check out my tailoring bag, see what we've got in terms of materials that we can use for armor. And shoving it all in this blue bag up here. So there we go. Uh, got a few dirty leather strips there we can use. Let's just grab our thread and a needle. Now, let's clean them strips. Use the upstairs bathroom to clean these last ones. Let's fill up our empty bottle as well. Water is getting low. Now, tailoring is one of the easiest skills to level up. You can practice it and level up your tailoring by just sewing something onto any garment and then unsewing it and the more you do it the more you level up so first off here's our leather jacket so I'm gonna apply leather strips to our leather jacket now it only increases you know bite and scratch resistance by one or two percent but then when you shove that over your whole armor and everything you're wearing if we put it on our t-shirt our trousers jackets socks that one percent that two percent bite and scratch resistance can make a lot of difference so it is worth doing if you want to get your tailoring skill up a lot more we could unsew all of them strips and re -sew them on but we'd end up costing ourselves a little bit of leather so you're better off doing that with just the ripped sheets so let's add some more padding to our t-shirt underneath and let's say when you add all of this together it does make a bit of difference you can't add padding to things like military grade bulletproof vests and that type of thing but even a few percent when you spread it out it helps even our socks when they crawlers go for your feet you know, it might be the difference between getting a scratch and a scratch can lead to an infection of, and inevitably that can lead to death. So it's something that I've been planning to do for Shiny. And using leather strips is the best stuff that you can use for armor. So again, just inspect our jeans and then add a load of strips. We'll have to go probably going to have to use some of them leather strips up as well or denim strips rather but if you can try and grab the leather jackets they do offer the best defense 
certainly in the early game. Now, let's have a look. Um, looks like we've got a hole in the top of our shirt here. So you just need to keep an eye on stuff. Things can get ripped. So we sew up some patches here. And we're all good. Go, okay, we can patch that hole with some denim strips here. So if we was to remove all of the patches, we would le level up our tailoring a bit more, but like I say it's an easy one to do. Now I've got the high vis vest. I don't think I can add anything onto that. No. So I've been taking that off because with everything we're wearing, it does make a shiny quite hot at this time of the year, temperature wise. But we're all patched up and it's just going to be, it might be all of the difference if we end up getting tagged by a zombie. It's definitely worth doing. Okay, well, I think we might finish off with a cigarette. Managed to get to 11 o'clock. It's quite late, but I think over the last couple of days here, we've done quite well. Managed to get that generator all hooked up for when the power goes off. And we've managed to secure it around the back, at least somewhat secure it around the back. And we got plenty of food in the freezer, so we're not looking too bad. Now, I do need to get that van back. If we do check out there we go you can see our hands we could do with a new set of gloves could have patched our gloves up as well but all in all we're a lot better off for having put all of them leather strips on so as always i just want to say a huge thank you to all of my patrons and until next time i'm james from complete games and i'll see you